a question arises, where should you keep your attention during Sushumna breathing or Kriya Pranayama? Should you keep it in the spine or the spiritual eye? And also, when you're doing mantra or alternate nostril breathing, where do you keep your attention? So I'll give you some ideas about this. First and foremost, you want to keep your awareness in the upper chakras. The heart chakra, throat, spiritual eye, and crown. If that's all you can do, simply do that and practice your techniques. It's really wonderful if when you're doing sushumna breathing or circulating life force through the spine to feel, imagine what it would feel like to feel a current of life force, of energy flowing through the spine on the inhale and then flowing down on the exhale. A lot of people in our modern world are so distracted or so out of touch with their bodies that they can't feel that. It takes them a long time to. So one of the ways to get better at that is to start avoiding social media, um, watch less really distracting TV with flashing images and things that, in a sense, dull your senses. You might want to get body work, such as massage, along the spine, along the back, so that you get more, um, are able to have more attention to know what your back feels like. Um, yoga practice, Hatha yoga practice, is excellent to bring more attention to how your your body feels in body awareness. So you need to develop greater body awareness. And that can take a long time depending on how numb you've made yourself based on your lifestyle or just simply not paying any attention to your body. So during circulating life force through the spine, certainly you want to have your awareness in the spine. If at the same time you can hold your attention at the spiritual eye center or crown chakra, that is ideal. That is ideal. But not everyone can do that, and we have to work at that. That's what training is for. And the more that you're able to feel within the spine as well as hold your awareness at the crown and um, spiritual eye center, uh, the easier thoughts tend to stop. But you work up to that. You work up to that. So when you're doing these kinds of practices, you want to keep your attention generally in the upper portion of the body, where the upper higher chakras are. And if you can, also try to keep your attention at the spiritual eye and the crown chakra.